How's it going guys? Lucian Sword here playing some more Brawlhalla for you guys today as always. Hope you're all having a beautiful day wherever you guys might be. Today we're going to be working on playing some Onyx. I'm going to be playing some 1v1 games to grind experience. I'm trying to get Onyx to level 24 today and hopefully I can do that today for you guys in this video. As you guys know, if you've been following my channel, let's do red. I'm trying to get every legend to level 25 so I can unlock the black colors for every legend. You have to get level 25 and spend 25,000 gold coins to unlock the black colors. I always thought that was so cool and I've always thought the black and red colors in this game look really good. So that's kind of why I want to get black colors with every legend. And uh, I know Mako, the new legend that was just announced. I made a video about Mako. If you didn't hear, they announced new legend. Uh, I think Mako is going to come out next week or the, the week after that. I wouldn't be surprised if it was next week, so... I'm trying to get Onyx to level 25 before that happens. He's got really good spacing on the cannon, but I'm, I'm not too bad at cannon either. Cannon is actually uh, is one of the weapons I've improved greatly on lately, so. Probably dead here. Oh, but I hit him. Okay, well, it didn't do much da <laughs> much to him, but still a little bit of damage. Wow, nice combos. Let's go! This guy's actually really good and I'm actually doing alright. This isn't ranked or anything, so I'm not trying super hard, but I still want to win, you know? Oh man, and then I just walk right into that side sig from Isaiah. I don't know what it is about signatures and holding them down, but I feel like it's a risk reward that few people are willing to take, but when you do hold it down a little bit, a lot of times you're rewarded. Bye-bye. Oh, no. GG. GG, dude. He took a spike ball right in the face for that one. Well played, though, man. I was fighting for my life. That was an intense game. Let's see how much experience I got. That's all I care about right now. When you win the game, I notice you get like 20 or 30 more experience than when you lose. At least that's what I've noticed. And I have done a whole like, a whole big project on which game mode or settings or whatever give you the most experience. So if you want to know <laughs> how to level up the fastest, I have made videos on that. Just look at it. I'll if I remember, I'll put a link in the description, but I'll probably forget. So. You can you, you can search it on YouTube though. Let's let's just do default Onyx on this, and I don't really need that much defense. So whatever takes away from defense, I'll do Dex Stance. 
hopefully I can get level 25 today. I should be able to, maybe even in this video for lucky, I don't know. It, it depends how long the video goes, but really trying to get level 24 in the video. Not 25, my bad. All right, going against Akuma. Akuma no Kogo Hattori. Oh, no, it's not that Hattori. Different, different Hattori. This is, this is Akuma ha no Kogo Hattori before the no Koga Hattori. <laughs> no I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. All right. Mm, at least she's got gold forge colors, man. That looks really nice. I gotta admit. Oh, I shouldn't have reached with that side air. Oh yeah, the reach on that recovery. Hold that, thank you. Oh, how'd I not kill with that? I didn't even hit. There it is. I've been playing Onyx a lot lately, and I've gotten better at using her. Obviously, it takes a lot of practice. Uh, eventually, if you play one legend enough, you just get better at that legend. I know it's common sense, but it doesn't matter like how bad you are initially. That's what I'm trying to say. Like, cause I was pretty bad with Onyx. Good defense or good. Uh... Oh, what a weapon throw! Didn't expect that. I got a little bit lazy, but uh, yeah. Onyx has, uh, I've improved with Onyx quite a bit. She, uh, initially I wasn't that impressed with her as a legend. I went right into that. Oh yeah, Hotori, come get some. She's not good at spacing that recovery out, so I gotta use that to my advantage. Oh, I threw away my gauntlets. That was stupid. Oh, but don't get on me. Don't ever get on me. The, uh, the cannon has really grown on me as well. I used to just not be good at cannon. It took me forever to learn how to even be halfway decent with cannon. But I'm starting to get it a little bit. You really have to mix the attacks up a bit. And if you do that, if you mix up your attacks a bit, it becomes very hard to read like what you're trying to do and it makes it hard to hit. Cannon is definitely a hard to hit. If you're going against somebody who's using cannon, I think. It can be hard to hit. Tried to do a neutral, not a side air, but that's okay. We still have a pretty sizable advantage here. Oh, got her with the neutral, or I mean side. Again, the recovery. Uh-oh. Got her. GG, dude, GG. She brought me all the way down to my final sock, you know. Gotta show respect. GG, GG. More importantly, how about that experience? 167, that was fantastic. All right, so let's see. Um, which skin should I use? I kind of want to just keep going with the Guardian Onyx. We're having good luck with that. I love the default colors on that. Let's do the Foo Fist, the Jade Gauntlets. They look really good on the default colors. And maybe the, uh, what's a good colorful cannon? This one looks pretty cool, the Nautilus. Oh no, let's do Jade Dragon, that's right. So we're doing, we're doing the full Jade setup, except our, our Onyx herself isn't Jade, but she kind of looks like she would be if she was green. She has like the design for it. Mostly when I'm trying to level up a legend, I typically focus on free-for-all games because 
I have a dual monitor set up on my PC, so I can be playing free for all games and like watching YouTube video on the side or Netflix or whatever I'm doing, like, and be playing free for all games because free for all is kind of mindless, you know, like, you don't really have to think that that much to play free for all. Oh man, he got me with that. Woo, at least he, I mean, he had me dead. So at least I killed him, that felt good. Can't go below me, can't go above me. Where are you gonna go, huh, Mordix? Oh, don't go below me. That one is definitely not the option. I just went over that with you. My man knows his uh, gauntlet strings. You gotta give him props on that. He definitely knows. He knows how to use gauntlets to great effect. Well, so do I. I mean, let's be honest. Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. That side stick is too much. Where are you hitting, dude? I'm not even out close to you. Oh, man. He so when I go into red health, he just was spamming SIGs, which is what you're supposed to do, basically. So maybe, maybe that's what I'll do. I mean, I can do that too. <laughs> oh man! Live by the sig, die by the sig, right? GG dude, GG. Hey man, it's a strategy. If you want to spam SIGs, it's nothing. I have nothing against it. If you want to spam light attacks, I have nothing against it. Whatever you want to do to win the game, that's fine. As long as you have honor and class. You know what I mean? Let's do, uh, ooh, these ones are still really good looking. The uh, Obake Petra level three gauntlets from the Battle Pass one. And uh, that's actually a really nice looking cannon. I do like that one a lot, but Let's go with the animated cannon this time and do the grill smoker. See, this is one reason why I love using default colors on the skin is because you can use... Uh, the, it basically shows off the colors of the weapons a little bit better because they don't necessarily match the color of your skin. You know what I mean? So you can have like really colorful weapons and, and it look different from your skin and then that really pops, you know? When the weapons in this and your skin color look the same, I don't know why they don't let you choose a different weapon color, except when you're doing default. I was trying to get that down there. I need a down air KO. Oh man! He was trying to go for the gimp and uh, he just missed one move and that actually cost him his own stock. I've grown to love the cannon side air. It has such a generous hitbox. It hits both the ground and the the, the sky or whatever. Same with the uh, cannon downlight. It really grabs a lot more than you'd expect, kind of. All right, 
Alright. I thought she would neutral sig me again. Oh my goodness, I knew she was going to chase me up to there and I just waited with the ground pound. Nice edge guard. That actually got me. Very close to hitting that island, but not quite. Up and downer. See how it's like kind of hard for her to, to know what I'm doing? Because I'm just... I'm throwing a variety of attacks out. Not all of them are landing, but that's okay. I mean... Sometimes I'm just repositioning, you know what I mean? You gotta shuffle your position around a lot, otherwise you get red. Every now and then use a move or a position that you haven't really used. Oh my gosh, she broke my recovery and I couldn't get back. I should have side aired, but I just thought I had a, a dodge or something. I guess not. She seems to want to use the gauntlets a lot, so I'm going to have to out-gauntlet the gauntlet pro. Oh, don't. You got to stop going right there, man. She goes to the one place where I can knock her down easily. She did that twice, but GG, GG, dude, GG. All right, I'll do one more match here because that's probably all I need to level. Oh, yeah. Definitely one more match. All right, I'll use uh, Super Soaker 2000. Onyx. I don't really use this one too much because I think it looks kind of crazy. I'll do the Troublemakers. That one looks really good. And then for the cannon, uh, let's do Laser Light Cannon. That one's kind of funny. I don't use this one too much because it does look like a Super Soaker skin to me, which is kind of funny. I mean, nothing against it, but I just like the other Onyx skins a little bit better. This is for level 24 Onyx, guys. I don't even have to win. Like, win or lose, I'm getting level 24 Onyx when I complete this match. So I don't even care. And that may, I mean, I do care, but I want to win, but like, I don't, not that much. You know, I'm going to, I'm going to win no matter what. I'm going to win no matter what, because I'm going to get my goal completed. Going against Ai Haya Saka. That was close. I actually thought he might be able to dodge back. Like, he was kind of playing a little crafty there. Unfortunate, my weapon throw didn't hit. That turnaround neutral sig, I think he didn't expect that. We are just shredding here. That's game. Three stock. Holy cow. GG, dude. GG. And I got a uh, side sick KO there, which I need. What a way to end the video and get level 24. I was worried I was going to lose because that guy was a diamond, right? I, I, don't, I, I don't remember, but I think he was a diamond. Ugh. That side signature or recovery KO's uh, mission is going to take forever. And bada bing, bada boom. Level 24. 
Onyx. So, one more level, guys. One more level, and rest assured, I will make a video when I get black colors for Onyx. And I really am gonna try to make that video before Mako comes out. Just so I can say I got black colors with every legend, even if it's for a day or two. <laughs> and then when Mako comes out, I'll just be grinding XP on Mako straight up until I get to level 25. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please drop a like. I normally don't make videos on the progress or like the journey to getting level 25 on the legend. So I just wanted to, wanted to do that since Onyx is kind of special to me now. Being that she is the final legend until Mako comes out. She's the final legend to get level 25. You know to get black colors for so i'm kind of excited about that anyways take it easy guys hope to see you in the next one this is lucian sword peace